What is going on everybody? Today, we're gonna be prepping a few things to get ready for the wind tunnel. All right, so what we're gonna do today, um, we're gonna lay up a set of canards. The car that we're going to the wind tunnel with is a E36 BMW, which we make a handful of parts for. Um, I'll put a link in the video description below to our E36 page. Um, yeah, so we're gonna make a set of canards. We will uh, prep a trunk because we're gonna run our Apex 8, our Fulcrum 14, and we have two other uh, competitor wings um, that one's already on the car, another one is a wing that I have just laying around. Why not run it? Uh, it'll be good information for us. I'm a little bit uh, on the fence of, you know, if I'm gonna share exact numbers or not. I know people kind of want to know that stuff, but at the same time, I'm not trying to, that's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to, hmm, I don't know how to word this, but we'll, we'll see. So anyways, let's get to uh, doing the canard. All right, so we just got the canards in the oven. Um, they're gonna bake for about two hours. Um, the epoxy we use needs about an hour and a half at 120, 130 degrees, plus about a half hour for that you know, small oven to come up at temperature. So what we're gonna do now is head into the other part of the shop to start the wing mock-ups on the, the spare trunk that we have. All right, so we're gonna start the wing mock-ups. As you can see, we have a good E36 trunk right here. The reason we have a whole nother trunk is my wings. So we're gonna test one of our uh, Fulcrum 14s, our Apex 8, which is on my car. And if you, you've been following us for a little bit, the Apex 8 is upgradable to the Apex 12 or the 15, depending on what um, upper element you put on it. So the upright spacing is the same between these and ironically enough the other wing that we're going to be testing or comparing against um, also has the same exact upright spacing so what we're going to do is use my old mounts so th those are the mounts that I use when I run American Iron with this wing and just kind of do a mock-up uh, on this trunk so that way when we're in the tunnel we don't have to swap you know, all the bolts holding the, the, the wing to the trunk. We just open the trunk, do the two bolts on the hinge, and swap on a trunk with our uprights at the spacing for our wings. I hope that all makes sense. Um, tunnel time is pretty expensive, so we kind of just want to make changeovers really quick. So let's get to that.
so quick little tip to get nuts and bolts up and in here. I actually did a video sort of on this uh, before, but I used a piece of tape rolled over on itself so that way I can hold the nut however I need to to get up and in to get the bolt started. Alright, so I'm stopping time lapse real quick because this is a little bit of an uh, important bit. We want to make sure that these holes are at at least close to where we need to be. There's plenty of adjustment with all these holes and all the holes in the wing mounts, but you can get too far off where the wing can't make it to zero. Um, we're going to test all of the wings at zero degrees and five degrees. Um, we would love to do more, again it just comes down to time. So we know for our wing, if this trailing upper hole is about an inch above level from this forward one, will be in our adjustment range. The, what I'll call competitor X wing, we're gonna have to modify this upright a little bit, but again, these are old uprights. I don't mind drilling holes just for that one. So yeah, that's um, kind of an important note if you're ever mounting a wing, you wanna make sure, cause you know, for example, if you mount the wing or the upright like this, you know, you might be an adjustment range from five to 20, which would be way too much. Or if you go the other way, you might be negative five to only five maxed out. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, a lot of times there's plenty of adjustment built in, so it's not really an issue. So that's what we're just doing right now. The other thing worth noting is that this trunk is just sitting on the bench, probably more forward than it will be on the car. So, you know, we also, it'd be nice if the car was here, we gotta account for once this is bolted to the car, it'll probably be sitting back a little bit more. But again, with all the adjustment in everything, we should be able to get to that zero and five degrees, no problem. Alright, so as you can see, I ended up doing three holes, which basically, that gives us a one up and a one down situation. So there's the first hole. You'll be able to see how much adjustment changes up here. So there's upper hole and lower, lower option right there. So again, with the wind tunnel, you know, being as expensive as it is, um, we don't want to get in the tunnel and realize we can't quite get the angles we need. So it will change the location a little bit because as you pivot this, it moves forward backwards. So the leverage ratio of the wing might change, what's that, a quarter of an inch. So it's almost negligible at that point if we need to use it. But um, yeah, we're gonna try and keep it as constant as possible. All right, so as you can see, we are, I don't know if you can really see that, but we're at level right now. And with the adjustment holes that we have left, we can go down a tiny bit more, but we got plenty of room to go up. And again, with, with the trunk sitting actually forward a little bit, that, you know, we'll, we'll be right in the range. We'll be right in the range that we need to be. Um, let's see, so what we need to do now is pull the apex uh, pull my Apex 15 apart, take the upper flap off, get the Apex 8 mounted to this setup, and then we also got to mock up the competitor wing to get that one ready to go. Alright, so 
as quickly and as easily as that, we swapped on our Apex 8 to replace our Fulcrum 14. So you can see it's obviously a much smaller wing, but it'll be cool to see the differences. Um, again, plenty of adjustment. So we're good with the wing angles and stuff for our wings. Um, we will, off camera, what we're gonna do is get the competitor wing mocked up and all the holes drilled to, to get that adjusted and everything. But in the meantime, let's go get those canards that we laid up earlier, uh, demolded and trimmed, get them ready to go. Alright, so we got our canards ready to go, um, our Apex 8 is mounted, ready to go, uh, along with our Fulcrum 14. The competitor's wing, uh, we're going to mock up off camera. If you're interested in any of our parts, a link to our website is in the video description below. Another thing worth noting is how I mounted this wing. Do not do this if your car will be on track at all. This is just kind of a quick mock-up, obviously, for the, the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel only sees, uh, I think it's 80 or 85 mile an hour uh, wind speed, and we're only doing zero and five degrees. Remember that downforce is exponential, so on track, your wing will see a lot more forces than it will, will at the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel takes measurements um, going up to that 80 miles an hour and then can use math to kind of extrapolate it up higher so that's why we can give you numbers for 100, 120, 150 miles an hour whatever the case may be so yeah I just wanted to note that because I'm sure people are going to ask about it um, but yeah any, any questions on anything we've done in this video just leave a question in the comments below if you want to see the results of the wind tunnel video, please hit that subscribe button below along with that little bell notification so that way you know as soon as they come out. It's definitely going to be cool, it'll definitely be interesting, we're going to be testing a bunch of stuff. So as always guys, thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one.